This is everything and more that I saw when I was researching this. This is so cool. We're Kyle and Jess, Canadian couple in constant pursuit of life's greatest adventures. After spending a week in the party central of Thailand, we checked off one of Jess's top bucket list adventures yet. Today we find ourselves in the quiet province of Ratchaburi, touring around some of the most unique markets in all of Thailand. Okay, first impressions, we just stepped out of the car and I'm already loving it. So there's tons of shops, restaurants, you can already see the canal and I can already see the little knickknacks and the pants I'm gonna buy and this <laughs> is so cool. Thankfully, the entrance is shaded, the boats seem to be shaded, some of them. So, <laughs> I think it's gonna be in and out of shade. In and out of shade, yeah. yeah. But either way, we suggest bring that sunscreen. So now, do you want a paddle boat or do you want the motorboat? That's the motorboat. Oh, and that's the, maybe the paddle. I think the paddle boat's a little bit more authentic. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Woo! Yeah, it is like it's almost not overwhelming, but there's just so much the instant you come around the corner. They're being offered coconut ice cream. They've got some kind of, I don't even know what is that. Do you want one? Yeah, let's get some ice cream. Sure. Look at this. Ooh, she's got the ice cream. Hey, the green balls. Ooh, Remember she's got the, the green ice balls. cream we had the other time and it had those jelly balls? Okay, you gotta put in the comments. What are these pink balls? Yeah, where are they? I love them. It's got the look. Wow. Here, you try. This is amazing. And it cools you down. One thing that we didn't have last time was the chunks of coconut meat in the actual ice cream, eh? So good. Unbelievable. And it's got the little coconut dish. Mm -hmm. Carved it right out of the coconut dish. And they just leave a pieces of the meat sitting right in it. So good. But we have just begun. This place is amazing. We want to eat next. This is everything and more that I saw when I was researching this. This is so cool. I'm glad we got the paddle boat. Yeah. The paddle boat is so cool. I think we would both encourage more people to do the paddle boat one because the motorboats just kind of take away from it all. It's loud, it's smelly, it ruins the peacefulness of it. Yeah, I'm really glad we didn't do that, but I'd say it's one of the only things I could point out as a negative right now. Yes. Other than that, Awesome. Grab a couple knickknacks. There's so much cool art we've noticed in Thailand as Very well.
I think we've entered kind of like the food market area. If you want, you can get right off. They've got like a food court area where you can sit down, grab something to eat. They're also just coming up with boats, serving pad thai right to you, soups, whatnot, all the traditional foods. Overall, amazing day so far. So cool. <laughs> Bye. Bye. was so nice of him too, hey, to offer us specifically a special price. <laughs> wow. I, that, that rarely happens here in Thailand. <laughs> special price just for us. Number nine. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, number nine. Captain Kai. Whew. That was scary. We nearly fell out of that boat there. <laughs> <laughs> Postcards, eh? It's kind of difficult for us when we come to places like this because we see so many cool knickknacks, souvenirs, things that we'd like to take with us. We can't really take and buy a souvenir everywhere we go that's big, bulky, and heavy. Otherwise, we'd just have suitcases full of souvenirs we're taking with us. Yeah, exactly. So we've got a book full of postcards, and that's kind of our solution to get a little bit of something everywhere we go. And so this looks like a cool one to grab a postcard. Yeah, from. I'm totally going to grab a postcard. Something like that, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Maybe something like this one. It's pretty with the ladies in the hats. I think I might do mm -hmm. this one. How do I take it off? Maybe just ask. Uh, this one? Jess, she's helping me. I shall set. Oh, all of them. Oh. 250. Oh, no. No, thank yeah. you. I give you 200. Uh. I just want one. I give you 150. Uh. Oh, one, I'm just looking. Oh. She seems to be getting mad at me. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing that can be a little bit unfortunate with some of these markets. Some of the people can be a little bit pushy at times. Roll their eyes, huff and puff when you're just trying to take a minute to look at it. So. But overall, I mean, we got some pretty cool, unique stuff. Some of it looks a little bit dated here, but overall it's all right. It's cool because they got a little ice cream shop, some drinks. Definitely a place you can cool off for a minute and get out of the sun. Hello, coconut milk. What is it? Coconut milk. Ooh. Get some free coconut milk. Cheers. Cheers. Water, not coconut. Water. Coconut water, yeah. yeah. Coconut. Free coconut water. Coconut water. <laughs> mm, that's so good and refreshing. It is, yeah. It's a lot stronger of a coconut taste than the coconut ice cream, that's for sure. The yeah. ice cream is a little bit more subtle. This has got that real good strong though. taste. Really, really nice refreshing. And refreshing. Yeah, it's a hot day, so we could use it for sure. And if you want bigger portions of it, then I'm pretty sure they sell it here as well. Mm -hmm. Cheers to that. Mm. Back on the river? Back on the boat, let's go. Well, guys, thumbs up from us on the Damnion Saru Saru. I think it's Namnan Saru. Namnan Saru. Either way, <laughs> try not to eat us up too badly in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> but this is just our first market of the day. We're on to another one that is an absolute must see when here in Ratchaburi. Do not go anywhere. We're going there next. <laughs> Alright guys, we have made it down here to Meklong Railway Market, another really unique market here in the Ratchaburi province. One that has got quite a bit of history actually as yeah. well. The market here was actually built before the railway over a hundred years ago and back in 1905 when the government decided to build the Thailand Railway right here in the same spot marketers basically decided they're gonna keep open and shop <laughs> and what happens is 
periodically throughout the day the train comes through. Really Amazing. cool. They know when the train's coming and everyone folds everything back up in seconds and then the train comes through and it is something to see. It is so cool and we are so blessed to be able to experience it today. But the train doesn't look like it's going to be here for about an hour so let's go explore the market <laughs> for a little bit and see what it's like. Oh and we might have to have some lunch. Definitely going to have some lunch while we're here. It's so cool how they have all these stalls and then they just quickly like pack it up in seconds. Like that is just so interesting. Yeah. And it's cool they've made like a, a pay, like a pathway for people to walk on through the track. As I always say, especially in these hot climates when we're wearing sandals, still important to always watch those toesies. I still haven't had a bracelet yet. Remember in Mexico, I had that one bracelet and I literally wore it for a year and a half. I never took it off. It was actually pretty lucky that day too. He gave a special price just for us. It's amazing that we get that everywhere we go. <laughs> These are cute. 95, these are a good price. 95? Okay. Found some pants she likes. Okay, I got enough stuff. <laughs> Bye. Bye. They were such a good price and couldn't even haggle. <laughs> There's a bit of a fishy smell as you walk through this market. From what we had read, it's actually known for having really good fresh seafood, so that'd be why but uh, you don't see it really out and about. It must be kind of just what they're cooking and whatnot. You see a lot of fresh produce, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, herbs and spices and whatnot. And it looks like some parts of the market you can actually go back into. It's not all right on the railway here. Definitely a place you want to keep your head on a swivel and watch them toesies too. Jess has already hit her head a couple times and the ground is pretty uneven. Hey? Yeah, ow. <laughs> Uh, Should we try one? Only one, seven baht. Seven baht? One, two, three, twenty baht. I mean, uh, two? Two? Sure. Uh, cola, coffee, Thai tea, coffee, coffee, coffee. Uh, and this, uh, less, less soda. Less soda. Only one, seven baht. Red soda. Red soda. Uh, less soda. Uh, and this, clean soda. Two? Uh, two. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Those are so good. It's like red soda flavor. Much needed on a hot day. So refreshing. This is our second like ice treat. We had the yeah. coconut ice cream. In fact, the only thing we've eaten so far today is like frozen treats. <laughs> it's the kind of day that is so hot. In fact, maybe we should try to mosey on down so we can find some other street foods or something. Get totally. Lunch at. All right, so when you find your way down to the one far end of the market, you'll find this big food court area. It's actually the Meklong Station, so they seem to convert it into a bit of a food court as well. And it's got some great prices for food, like 50, 80 baht for stir fries and pad thai. Yeah, which we did see some little stands throughout the market walking through this way, but they were almost double the price. So if you're looking for something to eat specifically, it might be worth coming all the way down to this end, hit up one of these spots. They've got the coconut ice cream, they've got the stir fry, the pad thai, they've got it all right here. And it's getting busier as time goes on, people are waiting for the train. It actually looks like people are actually waiting to get onto the train as well. Yeah, from what I understand, there are some tours that will actually take you by train right to this station, drop you off right here, and then you can just make your way through the market across the street there. Fun way to do it if you'd like to. Totally. Sometimes we just kind of like to show up and wing it ourselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think we're gonna go make our way back through the market here because the train's about to show up and we want to catch it. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I think I'm just trying to get out of the fishy area. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit stinky in the fishy area. I feel like someplace up here would be pretty good. Sure.
Officially experienced the train market, and just like that, it opens back up. Ooh, it's getting hot though. We just got a new subscriber. Thank you so much, Bianca and Love Vincent. Bianca and Vincent, <laughs> very nice to meet you. Thank you for a quick shout out and saying hi. <laughs> but that's about it here in Ratchaburi. <laughs> I think we'll wrap it up. We had the most amazing time at these markets. They were super unique, super unique, and, and so you knew. different. <laughs> it was super unique. Yeah. Awesome time. For yeah, sure. and, and if you come in the Bangkok, Ratchaburi area, you have to check out these markets because they're not your traditional markets. You one, you're floating down a little canal. The next, you've got trains coming through. It was super cool. But it's been a crazy time in Thailand. We've been here three weeks and we've gone non stop go. What did we do? We went yeah. to Bangkok? We started out in Bangkok after a 30 plus hour travel <laughs> yeah. from Canada to Thailand. Started out in Bangkok for a week where we just went full tilt. Full tilt. It got Crazy. us a little bit sick yeah. where we kind of hung up in Pattaya a little bit longer than we planned. Yeah. But then we went all out there, hitting up Walking Street, the Truth mm -hmm. Sanctuary, and checking off a bucket list item with Jess's parasailing. Yes. You know it. <laughs> sure. But after the a couple of weeks of going all out between Bangkok, mm -hmm. Pattaya, Ratchaburi, we're t ready to kind of slow things down a little bit. I think we're ready for a bit of a sleepy beach town. Yeah, so we are heading out to Hua Hin next, which we have heard nothing but good things about and can't wait to take you with us.